I survived the Delta variant. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. It wasn't my intention to let my YouTube channel die. But Delta, she tried to take me out, but I made it. Uh, I survived. I, need a, I feel like I need a t-shirt. Good grief. I am still not 100%. She don't discriminate. That's for sure. It's been a long, long road. I did. I was positive two weeks ago, um, but I was sick before that, and my doctor thinks that I probably had it. And then instead of taking the turn at week two, like to get better, I took the opposite turn and got worse. And that's how I truly knew something was wrong. And plus, my son had it. He was positive, so, uh, yeah, so, it's been a rough, that's where I've been, so there's your quick little update. I also chopped off all my hair, I'm like, oh, I've got COVID, might as well give myself a haircut. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who checked in on me, wondering where I've been. If it's not one thing, it's another, and at this point, I feel like it's the Hunger Games, and I'm not even kidding, and I guess I'm Katniss. So today, I am going to share with you everything I picked up yesterday. Um, my quarantine was up on Monday, and I went out for the first time Wednesday. And I thrifted for five hours. It was like such an amazing, amazing day. I went to two places that I've never been, deeper in Indy, that I've never ventured to. But yeah, I'm really excited. I got so much good stuff. I spent 85 at one Goodwill on 27 items. So the cost of goods there was super low because the girl at the register, I'm telling you, if you're nice to people, it, it helps. The girl at the register gave me the senior citizen discount and told me I looked fabulous for 68. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. So I only spent $85 there because I got 30% off. And then I went to a place called Thrifty Threads. Sorry to all my fellow Indianapolis people if that's your honey hole. I've never been there. Uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Never have I ever seen so much designer in one location. But they have um, it all marked really high most of it but there's a few things that I thought were really good that they didn't mark up um, and I spent $140 there on 18 pieces so yeah uh, when you so when you add those together my average cost of goods was four dollars and sixty cents per piece some things I only paid like a dollar or two for and some things I paid like ten so but it all came out to 460 and then there's three other bags in here from like a little 40 something dollar Goodwill haul that I did a month ago, like pre-sickness and never filmed and I'm just gonna include it. So this is a cumulative, like McThrifty, this is a cumulative, I can't even say that word. Cumulative, 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 thrift haul, three Goodwills, or two Goodwills, one um, little mom and pop shop. And yeah, it's going to be long. I thought, oh, if I'm coming back, I'm going to give them at least 45 minutes of fun. All right? 45 minutes. You down? You ready? Buckle in. Here we go. Okay, so we'll start off with some shoes, and then we'll go into clothes, and then we'll do some more shoes, and then we'll do some more clothes. I'm kind of just going bag by bag. All right. Here we go. You ready? If I know comps, I'll put them on the screen, but my, my ultimate goal here is to just get this haul up for you guys because I haven't been on YouTube in like a month besides my Sunday sip which was right before the sickness overtook me really bad <laughs> um okay first things first are these Isola Isola I-S-O-L-A size 9 I think they're made they're I know they're leather 
Um, yeah, leather, size 9. They're just a pointed toe little stacked loafer. So cute. Such good condition. Never heard of the brand, but I did um, look it up and it looked like I could probably get $40, hopefully. I think it's sold at Macy's and it used to be a brand. Or it, The brand is discontinued. It went out of business. But when it was in business, it used to be sold at uh, Macy's. So, I don't know. It's leather, you know. All right, these are Sam Edelman 9 and a half. These are the Linda. These are so cute. These are like a chambray espadrille. Size nine and a half. Love those. These are Steve Madden. How fun are these? White, chunky, platform sandal, gold accents. What size are you? Oh, it's right here. I need like one of those <laughs> magnifying glasses. These are the Gizzy, Gizzy, G-I-Z-I, -I, size 8. Um, these have some scuffs, like, you know, but a magic eraser. Oh, this one, you can really see it. You see, though, the scuffs. A magic eraser. I should be able to clean these up. I thought they were super trendy and cute. These are Steven, which is a DV... A line of Steve Madden. I feel like Steven is the more expensive line. Steven by S Steve Madden. These are in such good condition. They're almost like brand new. Like, look at the bottoms. Perfect condition. They're a laser cut ankle booty with an open toe. So like a shooty. That's what I call them. An open toe ankle booty sandal shoe. Shooty. So Oh, did I say what size those were? I'm so sorry. I have I have serious brain fog. Dear Lord. And severely compromised vision. It's really dark in here. Okay. These are leather size 12. Are these really a size 12? What? Um, these are a size 12. That's a, a 12. I'm amazed by that. Okay, a 12. There are 12. That's good. Okay, next is this little handbag. This leather is so buttery soft, and I just thought it was so cute. It's like a classic pebbled leather handbag with the chain detail. And I had never heard of the brand, but um, it's called Pure Collection. Genuine leather. It's in really good shape. It's so soft and supple. Yeah, just a super nice classic back, classic black leather bag. So, excited for that. All right, let's do this bag of clothes. All right, this is just Love Fire, which, you know, Nordstrom, I believe, is where you can get this. Okay, it's new with tag, that's why I got it. And I love the color. It's mustard, and it's like a lace with this raw hem. Yeah, it's like a layered tank. New with tag. Why not? This is my, one of my favorite things, and it's ridiculous, but it's still one of my favorite things. It's this vintage Bell Point uh, Cotton Raimi Made in Hong Kong cardigan, you guys. It's like all your vintage dreams come true with this cardigan. Isn't this so amazing? Am I the only one who thinks it's so amazing? <laughs> Maybe I am. It just has all of these crocheted details. Bits and bobs, like scissors. It says home sweet home. 
This is like one of those little sewing cushions. Scissors. Like a knitting basket. And like the buttons are thimbles. Oh my gosh. It's fabulous. It is so fabulous. That's like a treasure chest of all the, all the things sewn. Yeah. So it's a vintage size medium. I love it. I love it. Where am I going to put all this crap? I don't know. Okay. This is J. Crew size 4. Wouldn't be a Hope haul if there wasn't some bread and butter J. Crew mixed in here. I knew it was silk. 100% silk. And they must have thought this was a shirt. I believe it's a dress because they had it marked at $4.49. It's leopard print. And yeah, it's definitely a dress. It's got these little poof sleeves here. See how it's leopard print? Or cheetah? 100% silk. It's in beautiful condition. Size 4. I just sold a J. Crew dress for $45, a silk dress for $45 like a couple days ago, so. I love J. Crew. <laughs> okay, Arian Alley, size small. I don't know if this is er, Stitch Fix or if it's Anthro. I honestly don't remember, but I loved the shirt, the gray and white vertical stripe, and it has a raw hem. Like a fringe detail at the bottom. Say so small. Just really cute. It's cotton. And oh, more J. Crew. Size medium. Oh, it was blue tag. This so I only pay two dollars for this, even though my cost of goods is, you know, four something when you add it all together. So J. Crew size medium. I can usually get between eighteen and twenty five dollars for tops by J. Crew. Just depends on what it is. This is Desigual, Decisual. I think it's Desigual. Maybe it's Decisual. I've said this brand a million times before. I don't find it that often, but I find it. And it always sells. Sells. It always sells. I have a 100% sell through rate with this brand. This is a tank. They're known for their wild prints. It's size medium. Really, really good condition. It's got sequins on it. Okay, I love, I love these jeans. These are BDG 27. I don't love to buy um, jeans, but if I'm, you know, if I'm only going to pay $4 or something for them, then I'll grab them. Uh, these are the Slim Straight Acid Wash. These are so cute. So high-waisted, straight leg, kind of tapered. Very high rise um, and acid wash. These are like classic, classic vintage looking but not vintage jeans. And they're like perfect condition. Next is this Rebecca Taylor 100% silk size 10. This is, I think, that. Oh, focus, you dumb camera. Uh, I think it's vintage Rebecca Taylor. Like this label looks old, but it's 100% silk. It's in pretty good shape for being vintage. Just a little uh, cami with all these like beads and sequins and leopard print ruffles. Silk and I think that I feel like camis with high-waisted jeans are a look and a lot of people are wearing that that look so hmm. I grabbed it. This is We The Free Size small, but it's a um, definitely <laughs> would fit a large. It's very oversized. I I know I've sold this something similar to this. It's like this very long ribbed asymmetrical uh, thermal, and it is in a coral color. I feel like I got a lot of free people this day. Oh, this is Kiss, size medium. It's just a, a graphic tank. I, I kind of just got it for myself. <laughs> um, I, love, I'm, I love a good graphic tee or tank. That's kind of who I am when I'm not wearing real clothes. Okay, here's another We the Free, size large. 
This is a burnout thermal waffle knit. High low, very oversized. Although this is a large and I think this is smaller than the size small for people. But yeah, got that really pretty blue color. Fall is almost here, September now. So this is Assets by Spanx. Oh, I'm so sorry. Whew. Um, size medium. Assets by Spanx. Little tankini top. Padded. Slippered print. I was really thinking of myself when I picked this up. It was They had it for $1.99. I mean, how do you say no to that? You don't. You don't. You don't. Alright. Alright, this is Disney Parks. It's like a little off-the-shoulder Minnie Mouse sweater. Sweatshirt. I have in a size... Medium. I have done so well with Disney Park stuff lately that I, and now that when I'm seeing it, I'm like, yep, getting that. So, all right, let's do another bag. Okay, this is a county seat made in Turkey, genuine leather, size small belt. I loved the, all the tones of leather and then like the stitching. Mm, it's a really, really cute belt. And I do pretty good with belts, and it was 99 cents, so. Okay, this is wild. And I haven't looked this up, um, but I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's real leather. Maybe it is. It's La Belle Rock by Rockaware. I know Rockaware stuff used to be like really expensive back in the day. Um, but I've never heard of La Belle Rock. Nope. It's just polyester. It really feels like a really soft leather, but it's not. It's an extra large. This is fun. Really fun. I'm not quite sure if it's a dress or like a tunic, but it has this hood and it's got all this embroidery on it like and then it's short sleeve I feel like you wear this to the club with your high heels okay it's got a hood short sleeve and it has more of that embroidery quilting and stuff all over it and then it has these fun like pot has pockets and then it has these zippers and you can like I don't know. Show a little skin. It's an extra large. I think it's a dress. It's definitely like a, it's a moment. It's a look. So, mm, I thought it was fun. And I've never seen anything like it. Not sure how it'll do, but I got her. This is Miss Me. Uh, I don't usually get this brand, but this was on a half off tag. And you know, people who like the jeans kind of like the shirts too. It's like, and this was kind of, it's as techy and fun. I don't know. It's got the studs and the jewels just like the jeans. It's a size medium. This is Zara Trafalic, size small. This shirt is so cute. There's french fries on it. So that's why we got that. <laughs> Those are french fries. That's an egg. And then it says, Oops, and I don't know, is this a match? And a sailor anchor? I don't know, it's random patches, but it's a really cute little top. And I couldn't leave it there. Novelty stuff, it, it moves. Okay, this was so exciting. I've never found Johnny Was, but I did. This isn't very cute, though. It's Johnny Was collection. It's definitely vintage. Definitely vintage. Um... It has like the floral embroidery on the panels. See how old this Johnny Was tag is? Super old. But I have never found this Johnny Was ever. I wish it would have been a better Johnny Was, but I wasn't wasn't leaving it there. So yeah, it's got like the see-through embroidered floral panels. And then it has a shirt, an extra shirt, like a little shell. But this is kind of like 
not in the best shape. Uh, so when I list it, I'm just going to list this, the over shirt and then not include this in the listing and just send it with it. That way they can't open a case if they don't like the way this is because <laughs> there is some wear to the underarms on this. Yeah, this is made in the USA. Like this is the very beginning of Johnny Was. Go figure. I find Johnny Was and it's ancient, but oh well. This is Patagonia and it's a 2X and it's a Patagonia XXL men's and I believe it's a goose down. Let me check. I'm still checking. Nope. It's not. It's polyester. Only that or rip in the chat. Uh, the only thing wrong with this, well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a Patagonia. So that's Patagonia right there in the tag right there. But down here at the bottom, Jack Daniels. But I think it'll still sell. And I never find Patagonia. <laughs> So I wasn't leaving that there either. Okay, this is a new tag. It was a half off tag. Reversible, one size, like poncho. It's fall, it's poncho, well, it's almost fall, it's almost poncho season. And I do really, really good with ponchos. And so this one is reversible, so you can wear it like on the other side where it's white, or it's like a light stone gray actually, it's gray and black. So you can flip it inside out, and it just has these for the sleeves. I love this kind of stuff. With your pumpkin spice latte, and your jeans, and your little beanie. So cute. Okay, this is a champion. Look at this. How fun is this champion hoodie? Oh, look at that glitz. This is a reverse weave. Here's the problem. I bought it. Um, it's a reverse weave, size medium. which is the, like, these are just thick and heavy and beautiful, but someone cropped, they cropped it. So it's been cropped. It was done quite well, but it definitely devalues it. But I just still thought it was, and it's missing, you know, some of the rhinestones, but I just thought it was so fun and unique. So I got it anyways, and if it doesn't sell, my daughter's already like, I'll take that. And she's who I was thinking of when I got it anyways. I'm like, she would probably love this. So, all right, next is this two-piece new tag uh, bridal pajama set. So if you know anyone who's getting married, send them to my closet. It's this white with the black. It's David's bridal. Little, they're little pajamas, how cute. I wish I was about to be a bride. I mean, I am a bride. I mean, you know what I mean. So, a little shorts uh, and a little top. New with brand new with tag. So, uh, this is Chelsea and Theodore, size large. It has the little barb still in it, like it's brand new. Um, it's a skirt. And these little skirts are so popular. Is Chelsea and Theodore Nordstrom or is it Stitch Fix? I know I've heard of it. It's really cute. Anyways, just a chambray, deep pocket, little knee length, flowy skirt, very cottage core. Those are, you know, those are very trendy. So I got them. This is Title Nine, size medium. It's a little golf skirt. Excellent condition, has a zipper on the back. Title Nine does pretty good. This is Gianna, Gianni Beanie. I don't know why I got this. Sometimes I, I cut as I'm doing the haul. I'm like, why did I? Maybe I just got it because it was cute. <laughs> I don't even know that brand. Maybe I thought it was something else. It's because it was a green tag and it was two dollars. It's an extra small little chambray embroidered top in which the season we are moving out of. But oh well. Okay, what are you? This is soft surrounding, size medium. It's a cardigan. Like a little... It's got like these asymmetrical buttons. Like that. It's not really a cardigan. It's like a top, actually. Just a striped black and tan. 
size medium. It also has barbs and doesn't look like it's ever been worn. So like new without tags. I don't, I wouldn't list it as that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, that's not the soft surroundings that I would usually love to have. But what do you do? This is Joao Silk. It was green tag. So there's a hole. Oh my gosh, when I just said that, it reminded me of there's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. Do you guys remember that from when you were a kid? I remember learning that whole thing in music class and driving my parents crazy. Uh, yeah, there's a little hole in the back. <sighs> I should be better about this. Oh, these are vintage jeans. Look. Esprit. Is that how you say it? Esprit? Esprit? These are so vintage. Look at these. They're like an ac they're acid wash. Way high rise mom jean. Tapered leg. Oh my gosh. They're fabulous. They are fabulous. They're a 7-8. 100% cotton made in the USA. Aren't these awesome? I'm so excited about these. Okay. I'm going to probably list those for $50, unless you think that's too low. I'm terrible at pricing vintage jeans. Oh, here's something else I forgot. What is this? Athleta, size large. Oh, these are, um, you know, the leggings with the skirt over them. And the skirt is ruched, and the leggings are cropped. That's the Athleta symbol. And it's a size large, so it's a great size. Let's do some more accessories and shoes. This is my best bag of shoes. Do you see that symbol? Fry. Look at these fry clogs. Aren't they amazing? They're like brand new. Leather. They're like lined with fur. Oh. So excited about finding those. These were at that thrifty thread store. And not put in the designer section. <laughs> um, this is Poor La Victor. Leather upper. These are the rocker. Nine me size nine. They're gray, stacked heel, little booty. No, I've never heard of this brand, but I looked it up and I'm very confident that this is a good brand. I can't remember the comps off the top of my head. Leather sole. I feel like I seen them list some listed for like $150. I don't know what the solds look like, but yeah, poor La Victor. I you aren't probably gonna be able to see that very well. But these are brand new. So never found that brand, but I'm happy to give her a go. Plus, tis the season. We are getting into that season and I am stocking up. Okay, this is the sack. It's brand new. Still has the plastic thingy on the sack little charm. This big deep little bucket bag with all these rainbow beads. You can't, it's not showing how tan, it's tan. With all these rainbow beads. It's just a big bucket. Brand new, can you believe it? Yeah, has all the, the stuff in here. The silica gel. Isn't that amazing? I don't know how well, I never pick up the sack, but it was new, so I grabbed it. Okay, these are Seychelles. So sometimes Seychelles are, some shy Seychelles are sort of shy. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. I felt like I was doing seashell, seashells. Sometimes Seychelles are sold at Anthropology. This is the, um, what Seychelles looks like. Seychelles, do you see it? Can you see it better like this? Uh, these have like a floral inside. They're like a gold metallic moccasin wedge. Like they have that loafer vibe on the toe, but then they're like a stacked wedge. They're gold. They have these little star cutouts. Fun. They're a size eight. The only problem is the inside lining is cracked. The leather is cracked. 
uh, in the inside, but that doesn't affect the outside. The outsides look fabulous. Oh, those aren't stars, they're flowers. My eyes. My eyes. Okay, so that's the other one. Next, bum, ba, da, da. these are Rag and Bone. Rag and Bone. I was, I was, I looked at these and I was like, they had it marked at $7.99. I was like, oh my gosh, yes! These are a size 39 and a half. Rag and Bone, New York, uh, brown suede with the buckle. These have a name. I don't know the name of these, but I'll find it. But I feel like I've sold this pair before. These are $500 boots, so. I should, I sh a little bit of wear to the heels. They need a, a nice, you know, wear to the soles here. They need a good s suede cleaning, but I think I should get 75 to 100, hopefully. So yeah, yay. Um, these are Dansko's. Look at these fun shoes. So they're a, a, a leather loafer clog Dansko. They're brown. I don't know why they look red. They, maybe they have like a red. These are a 38. And these are in beautiful condition, like brand new. So. That's the other one. Yeah, I found such good shoes at this place. These are Lucky Brand. Look how cute these are. They're a wedge booty with that little cut out there. Ankle for the ankle and then the side zip, tan, suede. What's the name? Size 8. They're the Yakina. Y-A-K-E-E-N-A. -E -E Yakina. So, yeah. Those shoes are my favorite shoes. Alright, we got two bags left. Are you still here? This blue tag. Uh, medium, Athleta. It's just a white high low sweater with the does it have the holes no it's it didn't have any stains i looked over and over again i'll probably find some when i photograph but just a basic white uh this is disney by net collection by neff size medium it's a collab with the floral it says mini and then the neff is down here Hopefully I can get 20, 25 for that. This is, what is this? Silence and Noise, which is Urban Outfitters. What the heck? Oh, okay, here we go. It's this little green dolman sleeve, so see, dolman sleeve ribbed crop top with a keyhole back. Probably only 15, but that's all right. What is this? Oh, Zara. Size 13, 14. Uh, this is called Half Ride. Make it awesome. It's many things to a world to skate in. So this is like a skater Zara crew. This is for my daughter. It's a size 13, 14. This is free, people, I think. Yep, free people, size extra small. How cute is this? Little crochet, crop top, lilac, very bohemian. All right, the battery's dead. Okay, we're back. We are almost done. Okay, I'm surrounded by piles of clothes. What do I do? Whee! All right, let's power through this. 
Okay. So, these ones right here on top are from that Thrifty Threads. This is Bugle Boy XXL, 100% cotton. It's vintage Bugle Boy. Remember Bugle Boy? I think it's vintage dead stock. Uh, 2X. It's like a, you know, safari shirt with the Bugle, Bugle Boy logo. Men's 2X. It was only two bucks. It has the little crest on the pocket and it's a khaki color, so I don't know. I don't really pick up men's very often, but I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> okay, this is just J. Crew. Of course it is. Size extra small. It's like a little sweater shell. Not front, you know, but sweater material. Pretty sure it's 100% cotton. Anything that looks like you could be a sailor on a boat, I get. Yep, it's 100% cotton. I just feel like the nautical mom with her flipped out hair and her headband and the white pants on the yacht. I always buy this stuff and it always sells. And then I always think about that lady. I'm weird. Okay, I'm like, I'm wearing down, you guys. Uh, tiny is, tiny is size small. Yes, she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! Alright, this is size small. It's tiny, which is anthropology. This is a really cute shirt. Lots of details. Little lace collar. Um, all these fun, like an eye cap print almost, and then like a, like a sequin panel with lace trim down the front. This shirt has a lot going on, but it's fun. And I think I've only found Tiny once before. Those are my dogs barking. My daughter must have just walked in the door. Um, this is Free People, size small. It's just this little orange peplum fitted uh, floral, like lacy see-through. Boy, that's a lot of descriptive words. Yeah. Blouse top. I don't know. This is Melrose and Market, size extra small. I love a good chambray top. Melrose and Market is Stitch Fix. I do pretty good with that. So I go I got it. Okay. This is that was from Goodwill, by the way. It's all mixed in now. This is Banana Republic size small, but Look how cute. It's a Dalmatian with a king's crown on. Graphic novelty sweaters by Talbots and Banana Republic. Usually $17 to $25. Usually. Sometimes they'll sell full price. Uh, J. Crew, size small. I loved this. Rainbow striped. Uh, little sweater. It's, um, very see-through. It's is it linen? Yep, 66% linen, 34% viscose. I could tell. Um, yeah, that's really cute. Okay, now we're back to the other store. This is Madewell, size large. This might be mine, not sure. It's like a rugby striped blue and red cuffed thermal oversized love it this is another men's top it's Ralph Lauren polo Lauren Ralph Lauren 2x again it's it was two bucks I couldn't leave it just a plaid window pane plaid dresser my dad's a 2x so maybe he might want it I don't know my dad is a 2x but he's literally not a 2x I'm like why do you always wear your clothes so big <laughs> He's weird. This is beautiful. Um, I don't, I haven't researched it to look for any other tags, but isn't this stunning? I don't see it like a brand on it. It's a poncho shawl, but it's the colors, the orange, the blue, the gray. Ooh, it's fringy, very bohemian. It's probably a boutique brand, but wouldn't it be like amazing if it was something fabulous? It's acrylic. It's not anything fabulous, but I, it'll sell based on style. 
this is my husband found this he goes this is that free people i think <laughs> i'm like you're such a good boy gosh little cutie um intimately free people size medium this is just a pink sheer lace mock neck undershirt it could be an overshirt and put that over a brawl and there you go this is also free people good grief i didn't realize how much free people i got we the free size medium uh this is like a open knit very see-through cream sweater Oh, this is flax. I haven't found flax in so long. I love finding flax. It sells so fast usually. Okay, this is a size small flax. It does better in bigger sizes, but this is also a size small would fit size 1X. It is way oversized. It's beautiful pink. It's like a mauvey, dusty pink. 100% linen. She's beautiful. 40 bucks, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, well, this is definitely for people. Again. What is this? Okay, free people. Size small. All right. Okay. It's, I think it's a tunic. I don't think it's a, a dress. If it's a dress, it's real short. It's probably a tunic. I feel like I've sold this before. I probably have. Look at these fun sleeves. Really wide and fun. And look at all that beading. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I'm sure it has a name. I have to do more research, but it's beautiful. Size small. Okay, we're almost done. J. Crew, again. Size double zero, but I couldn't leave it because the print was so fun. Isn't that amazing? I love this. And this is definitely oversized. That is the funnest print. The pile is up here. I'm literally throwing up. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> throwing upward. Okay. This is free people again. Oh my gosh. I should have just called it. Yep. We the free. Size small. Just a burnout. Oversized. Burnout tee. Oh, I got the hiccups. Soft surroundings. Size medium. Look how fun this one is. It's striped and then it has like a, a rows of sequins. If that isn't the funnest thing you've ever seen. What's your fabric? Rayon, 100% rayon. Oops. All right, and last but not least. Any guesses? Any guesses? It's free people. Cheap mini. This is cute though. Free people, extra small. It's very soft like a micro is that what you call it a micro pinstripe or just a pinstripe a very deep cut little pop over gosh it's cute it's really cute super soft is it reversible no hundred percent rayon it's really soft and cozy and it's blue and white cute all right that's it we did it. If you stuck all the way through this long video, leave a wine glass emoji. Do it. Let's do it again. Wine glass emoji in the comments below. Cheers, you made it. Thank you for, so much for the support. Thanks for sticking with me through the long haul. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.